Okay, hi guys, uh, Prime is here, I'm Rika, and today something quite new for me, at least on the channel. We have a blend. I'm not so particularly fond of blends, I haven't tried uh, so many blends that were any good, uh, but sometimes, sometimes it's coming your way. It's the weirdest labeled uh, <laughs> bottle I ever seen. It's the Electric Co series, and um, it's a blended Scotch whiskey, 27 years old. Uh, they were not sure if it's been matured 27 years in the barrel, blended, or separate. We don't know. It's distilled in 1993 and is matured in a refill X sherry bot. It says actually a sherry bot, so it should be. For 27 years in the cherry bot, but we don't know. It's uh, ABV of 42.1 percent, and uh, yeah, this is uh, some cool stuff. It says some malt and some grain. Yeah, let's try it. I had this as a, at the tasting, so that's why it's not so much left in the bottle. Okay, let's try it on the nose. Not so heavy on the nose, but you have the sherry influence for sure. Some raisin and some honey. Yeah, sherry, raisin, and honey is uh, quite soft on the nose, but very enjoyable. Yeah, it's pretty much uh, sherry influence, raisins, and some honey. I would say. That's right. On the pot. Wow, this is so smooth. If I got the, uh, if I got this on, in a blind tasting, I would never thought it was a blend. Maybe I, I just tried bad blends before because. This one is amazing. It's the best blend I ever had, for sure, by far. And I have some. I had had some, but uh, yeah, this is a good one. The flavors are coming back on on the on the palate. You can't really feel the grain whiskey at all. Maybe some maltiness, but the main character are the sherry. It comes back on the on the on the palate from the nose some honey and uh, some raisins yeah I should have bought more of this ones of this one but it's uh, sold out unfortunately I heard rumors that they're going to relaunch it again so hopefully we can get hold of this one I think it's uh, quite cheap as well when it was released this was about 90 euro so for a 27 year old though it's a blend 90 euro quite cheap. So I have to thank my good friend Pieter Morin, whiskey expert and friend of mine who invited me to try this one. Thank you Peter for lending me this ball, for letting me have this ball because he not, will not get it back. So I should give it a mark as well. This is very enjoyable. I would say it's a little bit more enjoyable than maybe Maybe the Glen Morangy Taylor Winter. I gave that one 86, 87. I, maybe I have to pick this one up at 87, 88. Yeah, something like this. 87, 88 points. At least 87.5. So, uh, if you have a chance to try a really good blend, you should pick this one up. With the weirdest label ever. So, like the video, hit the thumbs up. For more videos, please subscribe. Hit the bell notification as well, and you won't miss out. I post new videos every Saturday. So, uh, yeah. Till next time. Cheers.